Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Tiamo Palani. I am Tiamo Palani and I am your South African YouTuber. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. So now, it's the 1st of August. Yes, yes, yes. It's the 1st of August. Ugel's birthday is in a day. Just one sleep, two more sleeps, and then it's my birthday on the 3rd of August. So, my partner has recently moved out of the city. Now, Ugel is going to meet a baby for her birthday. Yes, and also his birthday. So, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, 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 blessed. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So, now I am packing. I am going to be flying out of Cape Town. To this province where he's at right now and yeah i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited i am actually gonna take you guys with as i pack i'm so excited but okay this is a mess it's so messy okay so my stuff recently just came out of um laundry they just got out of laundry um took them to the laundromat and then now they're back and then i am Okay, I don't have my stand in here, so you guys are gonna have to let me actually pack. I'll take you guys with when I'm at the airport. Bye. So if we kill it in Tombo, I'm just gonna quickly check in and go have breakfast. Finally checked in, so Thank now I am having my breaky. And I'm editing my video, so yeah. finally landed i am going to reclaim my baggage or luggage whatsoever you want to call it so yeah i am so tired guys i am so tired so the other mask that was wearing is actually quite broken so i had to substitute so i just love my luggage I'm out. So after a couple of minutes my boyfriend got to the airport and he picked me up. So now we're gonna go check in. So um, as you guys can see we managed to check in and then now we go into our room which is whew, smaller than we anticipated, smaller than the pictures but what can we say we already here we cannot turn back. So behind the door is actually a shower. So now we are going to go downstairs for a swim, not really, just for pictures. <laughs> Yo. 
so so anyways guys um i just arrived at the hotel and yeah i'm with my baby like i said you guys are actually gonna get to meet him at the end of the video not now right now you guys should just like stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned i'm gonna be they're gonna see you at the end of the video right yeah so he's saying yes what you guys are actually gonna see his feet now just his feet <laughs> And then we save it the rest for later. So I'm gonna turn the camera to show you guys the location, how beautiful it is, how everything is. It's so nice, it's so beautiful. This is the second of August, a day before my birthday. My birthday, ah, I almost showed you. <laughs> the day before my birthday. And Ukel is happy as you guys can see. I already have some glow. Please don't mind this, it came out. So I'll be using this hand. Anyway, yeah, so. <laughs> Do you want me to show you now or at the, at the end of the video? At the end of the video. Okay, he actually says at the end of the video. So, let's respect Amantu Babantu. We will show them, we will show him like at the end of the video. Right now, I'm just gonna take a quick tour around the place. food and we will be answering a couple of questions so what's the first question you would ask me like any question you actually like interrogating me you asking me questions and then the one that we're gonna do tomorrow will be based on us so ask questions and then i shall answer <laughs> you know guys when they say like in most cases like in a relationship there's always that talkative person and then there's always that quiet one in this relationship i'm like the talkative one and then my partner is like the quiet one he's not really silent like he's not he's not really a sweet konyana i must say he's the he's a devil in disguise he's he pretends to be a sweet konyana but he's not and he's laughing right now because he knows it he knows it and in the eyes of the people it's always like yo tamo papa but then but he's not anyway baby oh hi boy what to keep us in as is all guys if only you guys could see this person huh but anyway guys baby, please ask questions and then i answer and then we leave this thing you're not gonna ask anything you don't even want them to hear your voice i'm gonna change it most they're not gonna hear it like properly properly hey i got some you want like this? Is this? <laughs> I don't sound um, like that. Is this voice? Lovely? I don't sound Ow! like that. I don't sound like that. He's actually trying to tease. Are you trying to imitate me? I don't sound like that. But yeah, he's a hater, guys. All right. Um, what do you wanna say? What? Do you want me to say? Uh, what do you want me to say now? Okay, anything. Okay, that's uh, quite a voice. Okay. Use that one, actually. It's not it's not nice but like it's confusing no, so they wouldn't know who you are no it's that sexy oh, oh. sexy are you sexy touch how it is sexy that's better sexy oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is weird yeah. okay ask a question and then i'll answer you like showing your face this is what i like i'm joking you're not you're actually not showing it it's just your beard. Your beard is a little bit protruding and then you move your face. Okay, anyway. What do you want to ask? Um, what do you want to ask? I don't know. <laughs> What's with the accent? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what do you want to ask? I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> You see, like I say, this guy is not a sweet Koyana. This is what I have to deal with, like, 365 days. We actually, a year and a month tomorrow. And it's my birthday. We met on the 3rd of July. Did we meet on the 3rd? Actually, guys, I always say, you've never asked me to be your girlfriend. We just started talking, then boom. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. So now I'm single. I don't have a boyfriend. Exactly. <laughs> guys, this guy never asked me to be his girlfriend. So for those of you guys who are like a girlfriend, I'm available. Mm. I'm like, I'm like I'm available. Yeah, because you've never asked me to be your girlfriend. Yes. Partners don't ask. Partners don't ask. Right. Okay. Okay, but still. Match made in Eden. Match made in Eden. The yeah. Garden of Eden. Yeah. So we're all about Patlapat, basically. Who oh, said that? <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, Eden. Eden is not the Garden of Eden where they ate, they ate the forbidden fruit. I don't know. So that's why we were made. I don't really? Know. So you see us in hell, basically. Eden was heavenly. Eden was heavenly, but it's not he heavenly anymore. Because my, 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 my partner is like He loves God This is another thing that made me Like you know Say Even though he never asked me to be his girlfriend And he's handsome I'm looking at him right now Could give him kids right now Seven of them You want seven? Seven kids Fourteen Fourteen? Yeah. I win Yo I 14 right soccer team key how many soccer team like, like, like. the accent key guys but i agree <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that hmm? did you actually hear that no i don't know hey the accent it's the accent for me okay let's continue so what else what else um that's basically that we met like on the third right yeah we didn't meet on the third we met before that but we we were not dating we actually started dating i can't even say dating because he never asked me who decided on, on the anniversary date you did right because uh -uh. you felt like maybe what you just said the third why and guys this guy has been the sweetest like when we turned a month he literally just got me like flowers and all of that and these cards with paragraphs saying <gasps> Oh, happy man's anniversary, and I was just like, <laughs> I love of my life. This one, but yeah, guys, you're laughing, guys. I wish you guys can see how yummy this guy is. He's just he's so yummy. I could really eat you right now. Can I get my kisses? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the camera to yourself so they see. Let me show them your beard. Then maybe others will like, you know, look for the beard on my thingy timeline and all of that. I'm going to show a bit of your lips. Okay, can you see what I'm <laughs> So I'm trying an influencer challenge on this one. So an influencer challenge is simply just lying about things that you don't do at all. So yeah, let's go. Okay, hey guys, welcome. Um, I am Tiamo Palani, so I am actually going to give you guys body tips, um, you know, ads and nice TTs type of tips. Oh, look at this. Okay, so what I do is every morning I wake up at like 6 a.m. and then, not 6, 5 a.m. actually, and then I go jog around my area. And then um, I jog for like around about an hour with a speed of, I think maybe um i'm not sure about the speed but i jog like every morning like every five o'clock i'm up like <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong and then my god my jesus yes. <laughs> and then like i also don't eat meat like i really don't eat meat i i don't eat meat at all why are you looking at me like that i don't eat meat though mm -hmm. i don't eat meat and like my portion of food is always like a handful like this hand you see how tiny my hand is so it's like a handful and then <laughs> why are you doing that why are you being awkward huh? why are you looking at me like that Ma when I... I okay anyway fine and then also another thing that you guys should make sure you do abstain from sex don't have sex like like often because like you it's gonna make you gain weight <laughs> so i my my partner and i he's here so obviously he can like speak for himself we actually don't like you know have like you know sexual intercourse we do like once a month twice on a good month it's like twice. <laughs> hey my god <laughs> okay what oh. 
so that's 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 actually what happens like in our relationship we don't we're not you know and then another thing you guys must delete all those like food apps from your phones i don't have one like i don't even have one why are you giving me that look guys you know like when they say that your boyfriend or partner i don't have a boyfriend i actually have a partner when they say they're supposed to be your number one cheerleader number one like you know fan and all of that here in this relationship is actually the complete opposite because he's just an enemy of progress he's my enemy and he wants you guys to think that like this botse and these nice titties were like bought or something child these were not bought like i legit legit like worked for these when i wake up at 5 a.m and you are there snoring sleeping uh, <laughs> 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 what but don't god bless bless me amen, amen. He will bless me, but like still, Salad. I wake up at five. <laughs> Failed influencer challenge. We decided that we're gonna take pictures. Well, of course, he's gonna take pictures of me because he's not a photo person and I am. So yeah. So to the man behind the camera, thank you, bro. These are nice. These are beautiful. The snaps, the patience. <laughs> Yes, girl. I will girls. I will. I am a she. I'm doing she. Finally, after some time, our food arrived, but we decided to go indoors because it was Halloween day. Okay, it's nice. August at the end of the day, so I yeah, so we guys. eating. And look at a guy. <laughs> Snack, show me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyway, um, so we're just gonna finish up eating and watch our movies and sleep. Eh, where's is Olala, guys? Sleep, sleep. Remember, I said we don't do it into someone. Go, shorty. It's your birthday. You wanna party like it's your birthday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. so excited i am grateful for the gift of life i'm happy that god has blessed me with another year and with everything and anyone in my life so um i have quite a few things planned i'm not sure if they're gonna go according to plan but i will as you guys know i've mentioned previously i'm spending time with my partner so we decided that um we're gonna go to golden city for some fun time 23 because chances are this is the last time i'm just siamo probably be somebody's mother next year <laughs> <laughs> Woo! okay jokes but maybe not joking but anyway yeah so chances are um next year i might not have this time for myself fully fully maybe maybe not you never know or maybe yeah you never know so i just feel like being young and wild for one more time because yeah you know as they say um maturity comes with age maybe i'll be i'll be feeling like a different vibe next year this year i feel like old Rift city date nights and whatsoever and we'll see what next year has for us but without going far i'm just gonna say a very happy birthday to myself and i'm grateful for the gift of life thank you lord and thank you to everyone that has wished me a happy happy birthday and i'm also grateful for the guy behind the camera thank you for spoiling Ugyal, making sure that Ugyal unambile happy <laughs> anyway yeah so i'll see you guys later on the next episode of the activity for the day and what Ugyal is going to be wearing and what i'll be doing so yeah bye <laughs> so look at what i'm doing Oh my
has been waiting for me for like the past few i don't know what's for it is but we're doing our makeup so now that i'm done we're gonna go chill by the poolside take beautiful pictures and have lunch so yas so i mentioned that we were gonna go to gold reef city but unfortunately we couldn't because um when we tried booking online it was actually closed because it's a tuesday and due to lockdown regulations it actually just opens on a saturday saturday and sunday so it was a tuesday so we couldn't go <laughs> But yeah, there's always a next time. So yeah. Come on. city planned out for my birthday but unfortunately it could not happen um reason being they actually closed so they only opening saturday and it's the third of august which is tuesday today you know so they still closed so i couldn't go there of course for those reasons and i only found out like early in the morning after i got ready so my day wasn't looking quite bad it was just um you know me having lunch by the same hotel right now i'm chilling by the poolside let me actually show you guys but you've seen it but anyway still quite a vibe not as bad you know it's not that bad so i'm still just chilling here um just thinking thinking i'm grateful for life you know i just um instead of like focusing on the negatives you know i just want to focus on um the positive side of my birthday that i got an opportunity to come down here have a great time you know um my my birthday was actually quite eventful there's just been so many incidents that tried to you know pull me the fuck down but i'm gonna not gonna let them because i feel like if you are going to not necessarily channel your happiness onto other people but if you are going to be affected by every little thing in this life thing then you would have to like you will literally like you know fall i don't know if you guys okay let me put it in a clearer context if you um base emotions on every single thing that happens in this life thing then you will suffer because every little thing will touch you so my birthday was um nice you know morning i'm happy i'm excited and yeah i found out that gold Reef is closed and it wasn't very like disappointing for me because i knew man i there's still quite a lot of stuff that i can do i can do lunch i can chill by the poolside take beautiful pictures just have a great time you know um and i did exactly that i just did it like off camera because you know i don't know for some weird reason i was just like caught up with the emotion of the moment having to um you know take part in the feeling how i'm feeling and i didn't actually like capture it but yeah so and then another thing was um just some girl who tried to play some trafficking shit on me um you know she just came to me started mentioning these blesser shit and mentioning how you're wearing your burberry whatsoever your chanel nails like it, it, it's so fucked up that a person just looked at me and thought this one has a blesser and thought this one has 
um, someone financing her lifestyle because these days people don't know that women work the fuck hard and women have parents women have um, you know they, they, they have their own money they work for their own shit so they just assume that like everything that a woman has is from a man which is bullshit because they're like women that work hard they're like women that have you know parents that like finance them you know like you know stuff like that but like they just like looked at me and then they just thought bless her this one and then she came to me on some i know a nigga that can actually give you money um like it was just quite a lot of bullshit going on it was a lot it was a lot and the second incident was just um kind of like a mini um conflict that i had like with my partner um yeah like i'm just i'm just for as much as i haven't fully introduced anyone to my channel my channel is just going to be about me and me only because i mean it's the beauty of my team also there will be vlogs you know i'll also be getting to express myself and everything but yeah so those are the only two things that like almost ruined my birthday and i'm not shy to say it i mean all relationships have issues we have problems and all of that nonsense so we had like some sort of like a mini conflict it wasn't anything um that bad it was just you know very like it gave me a what the fuck moment like what the fuck you know like you know so yeah so like those are the two things that like literally almost ruined my birthday not even almost because they were not even going to get close to ruining it because my happiness is my happiness and if like anybody else is trying to jeopardize it then i can simply shift myself or draw myself away from it and then still continue being happy so this is what is happening at the moment i'm just trying to like cool down as you guys can see i came down in my gown and by the pool area i'm just trying to get some fresh air and then just when i'm fine i feel like okay you know what i'm cool now and i'm in charge of the situation then i can go back upstairs yeah but overall i can't complain my day has been pleasant it's been amazing i appreciate the gifts i appreciate the love i appreciate the vacation you know it's 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 quite a nice time i'm not gonna lie and yeah and it also like this whole like chick situation where she's trying to i don't know if traffic me is the right word but like trying to sell me it's so fucked up and she actually mentioned how this guy is interested in me and i'm like what the fuck that person the person you are on a call with does not even know me is like no he said i must take a picture i told her straight up i'm gonna sue the fuck out of you if you dare take pictures of me and i double dare you like don't fucking take pictures of me and like it's so uncomfortable imagine one day you're trying to build a profession for yourself either doctor or either advocate either attorney either whatsoever or a business person because you know like as an entrepreneur for for you to like partner with these big companies they actually do a background check and imagine like i'm because i was wearing my swimwear i was wearing my swimwear and my cover up sitting down having my food i was alone you know because my partner had went to um the mall and yeah so imagine like you're trying to build like uh, a profession for yourself um at a later stage you're done you graduated and you can't fucking get those deals you can't fucking get a job because you are on fucking porn hub you are on porn hub you're on these sex um sites your pictures are being used like elsewhere and and they do a background check it does not matter where they can check your behavior your past behavior they can check this they can check that but chances are they might be that one employer who's like you know what let me just search this person on like one hub or maybe they they've been on the sites or whatsoever and then they see your picture that no man i've seen this person before and unfortunately it's on these porn sites on these nudity sites on these whatsoever sites and then you just like what the actual fuck because sometimes it might not be your body but they can chop off your 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 head and put it on another person's nudity whatsoever because she kept on complimenting me i appreciate the compliments i love love being complimented especially by a woman because i feel like women like they have no hidden agenda when it comes to complimenting you they simply mean it if a woman says you're beautiful then you damn are beautiful but if a man says you're beautiful you just like mm, 
are you trying to sleep with me are you trying to shell me are you trying to you know you always like skeptical to take with like taking like compliments from men and i know i'm not definitely not the only person there's quite a lot of women that are uncomfortable with being complimented by men because they always sexualize it they always like you know trying to put it in a you are beautiful okay thank you now that you're saying thank you then okay they feel entitled to having to touch you having to ask for the numbers so the compliments i appreciate that part she complimented me in yabonga i'm grateful but like i had a what the fuck moment when she started like you know mentioning this guy apparently that she was on a call with and the guy is interested in me and then when i asked like the guy does not even know me and then she's now mentioning um it has two colors because of makeup because <laughs> i'm wearing makeup and then now it's just like you know and it's so embarrassing so but anyway so now this girl is just mentioning all those people and i'm just like what and then she's mentioning taking pictures of me that's when i i was like don't fuck with me like i'll be nice you, you will come to me i'll be approachable you'll be able to talk to me and we'll ha hold like a mini conversation whatsoever but please do not fuck can cross the line so when she started mentioning taking pictures of me i told her straight up don't take pictures of me like i'll sue the fuck out of you and that's on period and she's like oh oh i was like yeah sue people that like take pictures of me i've never done it by the way it's just that thing you're like don't you take so i was just like um don't take pictures of me like i double dare you i'll sue you she's like oh you so i was like yeah i do and then she's like oh okay now that you're eating enjoy your meal i was like mm. guys like you there are pimps out there like you guys need to watch out you guys need to be careful of these weirdest people because people are weird people are just like so fucking weird they are damn weird but like yeah overall like my day has been nice i have cake i have flowers i have champagne and then what else i have chocolate it's 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 quite a beautiful you know day and i also have a beautiful vacation so i'm grateful and i am also um you know i'm just grateful like to god for the gift of life you know some people don't make it to their birthdays some people don't make it to another day and yet i am here with each and every single part of my body functioning very well um with you know with a full body parts you know with both my eyes my teeth my mouth my lips whatsoever like like everything like i'm just grateful that god has still sustained me thus far and yeah so that's it for me for today um i am actually just gonna wrap up and go upstairs shower in order to remove my makeup of course and then after that i will um just chill because it's cold i'm actually getting cold I'm, i know for a fact that i'll have flu in a couple of days so i'm just gonna go up wrap up um shower to remove the makeup and then um snuggle in and then watch some movies and that'll be it for my birthday it wasn't it was a boring one but not a boring boring one so today is the 4th of august and i am meeting up with my best friend my bestie my bestie my bestie my bestie oh <laughs> I expected it. But hi guys, so my birthday continuation. No, 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 babe, we'll take when there's food here. Yeah, but like, we're uh, gonna order. The table is empty, no. Okay. No. Anyway, we're gonna order food and then we'll take the next video, right? <laughs> <laughs> guys let me tell you guys why my best friend didn't want to take pictures without food on the table she says because people normally trend with no food on the table and then next thing they're like yeah they don't have money they were waiting for people to come buy them food so this is what actually happens like at groove in most cases with alcohol and all of that women would just be sitting there with the tables empty so they'd say they're waiting for the blessers so she's like nope it ain't happening to us girl <laughs> Did you just speak proper Zulu? Yes. How? 
Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was not gonna last. <laughs> so guys, our food is here. This is what we're having. One thing about me, I love my family. I'll die for my family. Like, yo. Like, so my best friend literally summarized my whole life in one um, frame. These people are my life. Um, and one thing that made me even more emotional was seeing my grandmother. But So I'm today grateful. is the 5th of August and we just checked out at the Regency Hotel. And we're going to another location with... <laughs> so this is Damboti Lodge. It looks beautiful, guys. I've always wanted to come here. It's beautiful, as you guys can see. And the rooms are, like, spacious. So there we just checked in. And after this, I am going to see my baby. didn't even waste time i just um changed to go see my baby so my favorite favorite baby so this is the new addition in our family this is my um youngest uncle's son and yeah my beautiful baby he's such a happy baby i love this baby with both my body and soul so i was just like you know what let me go see my baby i just wanted to do like and see Bombi. everybody that i love um in this week and of course Bond. i couldn't see my other um two nephews Pedro, 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 Pedro,
That's the end of my day with my baby. Look at how beautiful he looks with his big eyes. Oh my goodness. And he has one dimple, guys. Ah, this child. Anyway, this is the end of my day with my bambino. I had an amazing time. He's really the cutest. I could really... So this is day, day what? I think day five, no day uh, five, five of my birthday vlog. And the crazy thing is, it's actually my boyfriend's birthday today. So we are celebrating. Um, so we checked out at the place that we were at because of some weirdest scandals that were going on. Um, these weird ladies were actually like all up in my face trying to recruit me into prostitution or whatsoever you guys want to call it so i felt really really excuse me uncomfortable because it's not only one that came to me but i had two and the other one took my numbers on a covid 19 registration and sent me a message what's your room number i want to come and you know have a nice time whatsoever so we had to check out and then we got an even more nicer and spacious place we are by ourselves so here are the chats between the second girl. She proposed when um, we were in a queue to check in. She was behind me. That's how she also um, got my numbers from the COVID-19 register. <laughs> So the guys finished buying some meat and we are in. So there's some chakalaka, some meat, some pop, and acha. Hey, what's she want? Died for who? Hey guys! <laughs> it's our channel. Oh my god, it's so big! <laughs>
so this is the last day of my vlog which is the 7th of august i am still in bed and i am actually um about to shower and then check out to leave my eyes are actually reacting crazily but yeah so we finally dragged our asses out of bed and showered. Now we are finally out. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I'll catch you guys next time on my next video. We out.